on the outskirts of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in the nearby town of Cooper City, lies a grand experiment in domesticated animal culture, featuring three felines living in a domesticated atmosphere where their every need is constantly tended to by human servants, the patriarch of whom does not like cats at all. They, they ain't friendly animals, you know. They, they basically don't want anything to do with us human beings. They walk around like they own the place. The only time they ever make any noise towards me is when they want some food. You know, so, you know, they don't like me, I don't like them. As far as I'm concerned, you know, just throw them in the river out back. Students from the nearby Broward Community College School of Domesticated Feline Studies have engaged in a 24-month study of the cohabitation of these felines. Meet Rose, a cranky middle-aged cat with a serious egomaniacal attitude of indifference towards all other living creatures. Rose seems to have been a cat birthed directly from a top-notch pedigree of Egyptian royalty, annoyed at both her brother Jack and newcomer to the family, Molly. Meet Jack, Rose's brother, an obvious leader of the pride. Due to his large statue and aggressive nature, he rules his domain with an iron furry fist, often spending leisurely afternoons rolling around in the sand and chasing blue jays from trees. And finally Molly, the newest addition to the Blair clan, barely five months old and doing everything she can to run her human roommates ragged. All three cats living amongst human beings in the suburbs of Florida. Welcome to Blair Cat Manor. Little Rose likes to lay on her back and look for attention from the humans. And now for the first time she tells us why. These human beings are useless to me except for cleaning my poop. Although the other cats seem to have a similar attitude, Little Rose tends to get under the skin of the humans more than the rest. In, in this box where they crap, uh, you know, I gotta clean it three times a week. No one else would do it around here. And I could just do without them. If you ask me, just throw them in the river. <laughs> 